Hello and welcome to the second take of this Friday pickup video where I am joined by Lance. Lance, my son. And we're not recording with my fancy mic. I think that's what the problem was. We're recording with the mic on the webcam so that I can get his voice without having the mic right in front of us, obscuring the view. So anyway, this pickup video, I'm going to show you some gifts that I got over the holidays from both uh, YouTube folks and from my family locally here. I'm going to show you some items that I picked up, gaming items. I'm going to show you a couple of toys and some board games, which I'll save for the end for those of you that don't want to watch it. But you're going to watch it anyways. It's awesome. Because you're in the video. Yeah. And uh, we'll just get started. First thing I'm going to show you here is a holiday card. And I'm calling it a holiday card that says Season's Greetings because the person that sent it to me does not celebrate. I have to keep looking down to make sure I'm still recording. Does not celebrate Christmas. They celebrate Yule. And if I didn't say that, I'm sure he would make a comment. He'll probably make a comment. Up. No, he wouldn't beat me up. He's in He'd probably Canada. make a comment anyway. He'd make a comment anyway. So it says here, we hope your holidays are great. We also hope you get more snow than we have. It's possible. We got about eight inches on the ground right now. I don't think, I think they have more snow than us. Yeah, we got a couple inches over Christmas. And then uh, I think we got a little bit coming this weekend. So we might have 10 inches of snow by Monday. I don't know what you got, but that's what we got here. Probably colder. Well, that's probably not colder where you are. You're in a nice part of Canada. It's definitely colder where the thrift dwellers are. Yeah. Although we get your guys, the thrift dwellers, we get your temperatures here like three or four days later, just sort of 15 degrees warmer. Last video was a lot funnier when you said that part. It was a lot faster. All right, we're not going to refer to the last video. Well, it just was. We're just going to move on. Yes, I was incredibly funny and all that stuff in the last now video. So this is from Trevor and Kaya and their children. So thank you very much to the Sega Stoner and his family. We really do appreciate it. This was hanging upstairs with all the other cards we got for Christmas uh, right up until a few minutes before we did this video. I pulled it down here to show you guys. Next, I got this box, which is now already open. And it says here that it came from Australia. I don't want to show you any addresses, though. And I believe that it actually came from Tat. Well, I know that it came from Tasmania because I've already done this. Yep. And I commented that I really liked the letterhead on this. If you hadn't already guessed, this is from Electric Adventures, Tony. And it says on here, Ed, my cousin found this in one of our local charity shops for $1. As I already have this one, thought you might appreciate it. Regards, Tony. Yes, I do appreciate it. It's actually awesome. He sent me another Star Wars Tops Wide Vision card to go along with the one he sent me last year with the card. And... This is awesome, and I've been debating with uh, my son and in the video the last time whether or not I want to open this. I kind of want to open it, and I kind of want to keep it sealed. But it's Douglas Adams, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, what does it say? Trading cards, and they're randomly packed tech chrome and autographed cards. Yeah, I think you should open it in a separate video. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to open it all. I think I'm going to keep it. It's too cool to open. No. I can look up a video. I'm sure somebody else opened them. And the main thing he sent me is this right here. Eye of the Beholder 2, The Legend of Dark Moon. Do you have Eye of the Beholder 1? Uh, you know, I might. Because we have to do that one first. I'll have to look. Be right back. Ten minutes later. The answer is no, I do not. But I now have Eye of the Beholder 2, and this is very cool. Well, then you need to go find the first one. It's on three, three and a half inch floppies. So I'll have to break out the old 486 DX33, I think is what I have. Uh, it's at the garage at my old house. And it comes with the manual. So that will be awesome. Thank you very much, Tony. Well, I have to go to the elephant's house. Really do appreciate it. Now, we're going to try and hurry this up along since I'm running out of time. Uh... Board games, toys last. What am I on? I'm on gifts. Yes. I got from my little brother this here. Awesomest thing ever. Power up, Another light video. switch cover. And I filmed a little bit of video, which I'll put over my son Lance's face. Yeah, don't part over my face. They can't hear you because there's a video over your face. Over your face. Actually, they can hear you because they can't see the ridiculous face you're making. There you go. Ridiculous face. It's probably done. And my family got me some really cool stuff, including this shirt, a couple other shirts, some other stuff, and this hat right here. Which I got him. Which Lance is insisting on wearing. It's an Atari hat with a little controller there, and it is very cool. I, 
Got a little sticker on the bottom. And other stickers. Right Oops, here. little sticker on the bottom that says Atari. And, and there's a little thing right stuck there. here. And I love my family very much. Thank you for getting me cool stuff for Christmas. Let's see. Now, on to the video games. Yes, boy, you are rushing me along. Video game stuff. Well, you said you wanted to go Just fast. hand me the whole stack. This? And you want this? Ha! Here we go. Parker Brothers Super Cobra for the, uh, what is this for? Atari 8-bit computer. Found this. have one over there. Yeah, found this for a couple of bucks with the cartridge and the manual. And since my Super Cobra arcade machine broke the other day, I was a little sad. So when I saw this, I thought, yeah, I'll pick that up. It'll make me feel a little better. Turn it into a main machine. Lance and I will play that later. It actually looks like a pretty decent arcade port for the time, too, because this came out in, what year did this come out in? I don't know. I'd look there forever trying to find it. Yeah, I care. I just well, don't care I don't think in this watching video. The video cares. They might. They might care. You well, don't know. I bet. The are you going to argue with me, care. or are you going to let me move on with the video? I'll just move on with the video. Thank you very much. Okay, I picked up a couple of Sega Genesis games. I got X Mutants, which I already had, but I had it loose, and I'll be darned if I can find the cover for X Mutants anywhere. I don't think I can find it, but uh, I upgraded. This was two dollars and fifty cents. Upgraded to a complete copy. What does the X stand for? Uh, I don't know. I guess they Extra? they used to be mutants. Extract? I don't know. They they were mutants, but now they're not. Oh. Well, Is this really important? You told me you wanted to hurry up with the video. Well, I, I care. All right. Okay. Apparently, this is very important right now. <laughs> X mutants. So it could be that they're like extra mutant. I just said that. It could be that they are people who used to be mutants, so now they are X mutants. Well, maybe it's EX mutants. Maybe maybe EX are initials. Could be. You never know. What else could it be? I don't know. You don't know. Yeah. Okay. All right. Are we are we <laughs> done with this pointless that. exercise? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next, uh, I almost didn't buy this. This is also two fifty. And I'll reiterate again for those of you that haven't watched my older videos. I go to a lot of the exchanges. Uh, that's a like a resale shop that's around here in Pennsylvania and Illinois, I think. There's and their price points are one dollar, two fifty, five dollars, eight dollars, ten dollars, and then really high. So when you hear me say two fifty or one dollar or five dollars all the time, that's why. Um, pick a lot of stuff up at those stores because there's like twelve of them around here I go to. But Blades of Vengeance took me forever to spit that out. Uh, is a game that I thought I had in my collection. I don't, so I was glad I grabbed it. For two fifty, if I'm even in doubt, I should just buy them anyway because I can use them for replacement cases or sell them on. Uh, this I think was five dollars. I bought this a while back. Double Dragon Three, the arcade game for the Genesis, and it is in extremely good condition. I love seeing manuals that look like they've never been touched. I've never played this version of Double Dragon, so I'm I hoping bet someone touched it. It's going to be good. I never played this version of Double Dragon Three. I know the Genesis version of Double Dragon sucks compared to the NES version. Hopefully that nice. doesn't. Uh, it's true, it does. It's really bad. The, the sound is awful. Oh, it is that the be... one me and Uncle Jimmy played? That was like really horrible. Was it? Yeah, no, played... no, no. You played the NES version. No, we played the... Oh, you played the Master System version. Yeah. That was not really horrible. That was an excellent version. No, you said the NES one was super horrible. That's not super horrible. The NES version is good. The sound on the Master System with the FX mod is much better. That's what I was arguing with Elton about. Can we move on? Okay. <laughs> uh, I picked up a Saturn game, Cyber Speedway. It says here that it is it features music by Bygone Dogs and that it is exclusive to the Saturn. So I've never played this. It's a racing game. And, and you have to play it. No, yeah, I it. I'll have to play it. If you guys want to see me and Lance play against one another in this, let me know in the comments down below. It'll I'll force, beat you. It, it'll also force, say who you think is going to win. I'm going to win. No, because I'm going to win. Nope. You're going to lose. Post in the comments. We have comments. already established that I am better at racing games than you. No. How did how did Mario Kart for the Wii work out last time we played? That was like a long time ago. Who won? It was Mommy. <laughs> yes, Mommy won. <laughs> but then I won. So that makes me better than you. All right, and finally... We, oh, give me that thing right there. This okay. is already... A, God, we're already almost to the total that we had last time. All right, I picked up a sports Sega Dreamcast in immaculate condition. Those of you that follow me on Facebook will have already seen this. Uh, yeah, I found Minty. this for, what was it, 25 bucks? Yeah, we're not going to talk about minty, fresh. <laughs> I said it was mint, in mint condition last time, and then I referenced the fact that some people call it minty fresh. 
and then he thought that was very funny. I said that the first person I ever heard that from was Master of Tuba 3, who no longer posts videos on here, because he went off to college, and he's got a girlfriend, and good for him. That's what I said. Are you happy? Yeah. Okay. Um, but anyway, this came complete, and I'm not going to open it up again. You'll just have to take my word for it. It's in extremely good condition. Everything is in the little baggies. It's got the manual and all the paperwork, and it came with two games. It came with NBA 2K1, NFL 2K1, and then NFL 2K was inside the system itself. How are we supposed to know that? You didn't open it. It's, it's there. You know it. Tell them. Was it there? No. Blind. <laughs> Fine. Be that way. Okay, now, for those of you that don't like toys and board games, leave now. Don't leave. You think they're gone? No, because they're not going to leave. Because you're them, in this video? I told, no, I told them earlier. And early. you're too awesome? I told them earlier. No, but to they're leave. not going to see that. No, remember? I, I remember. Earlier in this same video, I told them to leave. You told them to leave? Yes. No, I told them not to leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll start Don't with leave. the toys. I was at a Volunteers of America in, I can never remember if it's Brunswick or Medina. It's right in between Who the two. Who cares? For yeah, and I found these two guys in a bag for 90 cents. A lot. You're not supposed to show them yet. I'm supposed to tell them where I got it. <laughs> and then we're going to show them. Uh, along with a very bad McDonald's Galvatron. So, uh, yeah, I got, go ahead. Away. Show them. This is a thing. I don't remember what it is from the last video. <laughs> That's Grimlock. I remember what that was. And what like. sound does Grimlock make? <laughs> Actually, no, that sounds like the... What the heck is the terror? Swoop. That sounds more like Swoop. Well, you gotta go find that and one. And this is Sludge. And they are in fantastic condition yeah. for the age, man. Awesome. They really are. It's amazing <sighs> to find these guys in this good a condition. I didn't believe that they were the original until I actually opened the package in my car. And sure enough... Now, where's that here? Right there. Japan, 1984. I don't know if you can see that. I don't. I can see it. It is. Japan, 1984. So, very cool to find those little guys in there. I was extremely happy. And I posted them on Facebook as Where'd well. You so, you guys would have seen story? Grimlock inappropriately touching uh, uh, Sludge. That's not very appropriate. You weren't supposed to be sitting next to me. Well, I Alright, fine. Now, the board games. I got this board game that is also an inappropriate title. It's called Redemption, the City of Bondage board game. But it's not what you guys are thinking. It's actually Biblical Heroes Battle Evil Hordes to Rescue Lost Souls. And I got this because it was, what was it, $2.99, I think? And it was sealed, which is kind of cool. And it really does look like it would be an interesting game, you I have to admit. It? You know, I don't know. I love fantasy games. I'm probably, honestly, this is like a $30 game. I'll probably sell this on eBay and so let somebody... I don't know. I haven't decided you yet. You watch a YouTube video? Or uh, you know what? I'll look and see if there's a YouTube video on it. Because it does look pretty cool. Uh, if it's really cool, I might keep it and play it. If not, I'll probably let somebody that really, really wants to have a Christian Biblical Heroes battle game. There you go. Put that over there for me, would you? And finally... I got the Great Museum paper, and for those of you guys, for those of you that haven't played this before, it's a clue game. I'm gonna sell that one. But no, this one I'm definitely gonna keep. I might give this to one of my little brothers yet. I haven't decided. But essentially, one person plays a thief, and then the other folks are trying to catch him before he can escape. So it is a really neat game. This is complete, which surprised me. Normally, I find this and it's missing half the pieces. This actually has extra pieces. So, very cool. Lucky, that lucky, should be a fun lucky. game. Now, that's it for this video. But what you have coming up here on my channel, you'll see Sunday, my response to Atari Leaf's New Year's resolution video. You'll get to see if I managed to meet my resolutions from last year, which, if you don't remember, we're finishing the MAME arcade machine and getting rid of all the crap that was under my ping pong table. Uh, I'll recap that in the other videos. You don't have to remember that. May or may not. And you'll... It. <laughs> and you'll, that's right, because we're, we're teasing yeah, here. Yeah, can't tell them. And you'll find out what my resolutions or my goals are for this year, my collection goals for 2014. Uh, what else do you have to look forward to? I filmed a lot of video on New Year's Eve. You saw so some of it the other day. And then I was going to put some of the other stuff on a new channel that I made that my brothers and I are going to be doing. But you're not going to. Yeah, I'm not going to. It's just, it's not the quality I wanted. We were using this webcam because my other camera, the batteries were dead and I didn't realize it. So anyway, I accidentally bumped the other it'll be on this channel, but I will have a new channel come out with my little brothers. I haven't announced it yet because we don't have all the stuff filmed, but it will be creative and interesting stuff. I think you guys will like it. 
Uh, I'll talk about that later. We're also going to bell me playing the final level of Trine Two. <sighs> yes, we're gonna we're gonna Eventually. have Lance we're gonna have Lance beating Trine Two. I'm gonna record that so Maybe. you guys can watch it. No, we definitely will have that. No, because I'm probably gonna lose. Well, we'll we'll have him. You'll get to see every attempt. If he loses, you'll see that. If he wins, you'll see that. And uh, what else did I say last time? Uh, Most we have come out. That was it. Was that it? Yeah, that was I thought it. There was something else. I don't remember. Uh, but we're already over the time from the last video anyway. So by a lot. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you guys later. Tomorrow. Oh, I remember! I remember! I'm going to try and get live footage. I bet they already left. From oh dang it! Well, for those of you that stayed, live footage. <laughs> Mike Gardner is at MAGFest, and on the Nerdmasters channel, I'm going to try and record some footage with him live at MAGFest, and I'll post it, like, immediately after I record it, so you guys can see it. There'll be, I don't know, depends on how long the video is, but like an hour delay or so. So, look for that tomorrow and Sunday, or tomorrow or Sunday, it depends. Or if you can get a Wi-Fi. So, never mind, I shouldn't have even mentioned You guys are gone already, anyway. Thanks. You seem like such a sad person, Daddy. I am. All my friends person. leave me.